everyone, so today I'm doing a one brand tutorial using Collection Cosmetics, which as you know is one of my favorite affordable brands here in New Zealand. If you don't know where to buy this from, it is available at countdown stores nationwide. When Crystal came over, I actually like forced her, <laughs> forced her. I took her into countdown with me and I was like, you need this, you need this, you need this. Collection has heaps of really good products, which I've talked about a lot in the past. So today I'm doing it full face using Collection Cosmetics. Also Collection Cosmetics is now the second largest makeup brand in like supermarkets. It's super affordable so really good for those of you who don't want to splurge too much on makeup. At the moment it's even more affordable. I believe they have a sale on right now. If you do want to pick up anything I use during this video then now is a good time. So today I am doing a kind of generic Generic is not a very good word. I feel like generic is a bad word. It's just like a typical Gigi Hadid kind of makeup tutorial. She often wears really nice like glowy face makeup. She doesn't go over the top on contouring and everything. Quite natural but golden, bronzed, lots of lashes. You know the drill. So I'm kind of just taking some inspiration on some photos I found of her on Pinterest. This photo here is one of my favorites. Like she looks so beautiful. I just love how like effortless she looks. You'll have to excuse me because I lost my headband temporarily. So I'm using my Halloween headband. I dressed up as a cat. So first we're going to start with our skin. I'm just going to zoom in a little. Now you can see what's happening a little bit better. So I'm using the collection Primed and Ready Smoothing Makeup Primer just underneath my foundation. This is just going to smooth out my complexion and help the foundation last on my skin a lot longer than it would without primer. And I like to focus it where I've kind of got like breakouts and stuff because it helps to smooth down the skin. Next I'm going to apply my foundation and we want a nice flawless finish. And I'm going to be using this one here which is new to like New Zealand and the UK. This is called the Collection Color Match Flawless Natural Finish Foundation which how perfect is that for a Gigi Hadid look? I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. <laughs> Slight panic mode. But that's exactly what we want so um, there is a ivory, porcelain, and cool beige shade, so I'm just going to figure out which one I am. Actually, that one looks pretty good straight away. This one here is cool beige, number three. So I am just going to apply some of this all over. You guys know the drill. And I'm just using a flat top foundation brush just to blend this out. So that's how my skin looks with just one thin layer of this foundation. It just looks nice and even and natural. I'm just going to use a little bit, ooh, <laughs> a little bit more just around where I want a little bit more coverage just to build it up a little. I'm just doing like the redness around my nose and on my face. And then don't forget just to bring it down your neck a little bit just to make sure everything looks nice and blended out. Next up we want to use some concealer. Mine is well loved as you can see like half the writing's rubbed off. I use this all the time. This is what it looks like when it's brand new. <laughs> so this is in the shade 1 Fair. Gigi always looks really nice and radiant. I'm wide awake so we want to kind of just conceal up these dark under eye areas. Fake a little bit of sleep, you guys know how it is. And then I'm just going to blend it out with my finger and this is quite a light shade so it's really 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 going to brighten up that area. By the way if you're wondering, um, Collection Cosmetics is not tested on animals either. Just to brighten up my face even more I'm just going to put a little bit of this concealer down the center of my face. If you are really fair, this is one foundation, I mean, not foundation, this is one concealer I always, always, always recommend to people because it is so, like the palest shade is really, really, really pale. So even if you have fair skin, it should work, hopefully. So this foundation has a really nice kind of natural, like not super glossy finish or anything, but just a nice natural kind of glow. So we don't want to mattify our skin too much. However, I still do want to set my foundation just so that it lasts a little bit longer. This powder is called the Lasting Perfection Powder and this shade is in 2 medium. I'm actually going to use the little powder puff once just because I'm actually very lazy and haven't washed my powder brushes in ages. So... <laughs> I'm just going to use this instead. I'm kind of concentrating the powder around places where my foundation usually wears off the fastest. So around my nose, under my eyes, and on like my lower cheeks. So these two products here are also new to the UK and New Zealand. This is the Gorgeous Glow Bronzer and this is the Gorgeous Glow Blusher. You can see the colours are really nice and they have a bit of like a fine shimmer through them. So this is perfect for our GGG look. Because as I said she always looks so glowy and youthful. So I'm not really going to contour today. I'm just going to use this bronzer around like the outside of my face just to give myself a little bit of a golden glow like what Gigi likes to wear. Seriously, I have like no clean brushes right now. Here we go. <laughs> so for around my face, I'm actually going to take like kind of like the first four of 
avoiding that top color because we're going to use that to highlight. And I'm just using circular motions around the kind of perimeter of my face. So around the top of my forehead and then on my kind of cheeks. I'm also going to brush a little bit down my nose. And then for her gorgeous glowing cheeks, we're going to use this blush here, which again has that nice kind of shimmer through it, so it is perfect. I'm kind of aiming my brush down the bottom because these tones are more similar to what she's wearing in this picture I'm looking at. She's wearing like a really nice kind of like light pink, so I'm just going to apply that to the apple of my cheek. Actually, as you can see, that's got a kind of like gold reflect to it, so we don't even need to highlight separately. Just blend that out really nicely. I'm just thinking about it, and this is actually the perfect look to be doing right now because here in New Zealand we're in spring, heading towards summer, and this is like the perfect summer look. Double bonus. Anyways, I'm going to do my eyebrows. They have actually added a brunette shade, so if you've got like dark brown or black hair, this is like a new one that they've recently added. So that's what the colours look like. Just a little FYI, because that's new. But I am going to be using using this shade here which has this nice like kind of cool toned blonde colour. So I'm going to use a mixture of these two on my brows today and then I'm going to finish off with this little brow mascara by Collection. Gigi's eyebrows are always quite not messy but they're quite undone looking like she doesn't have them super perfectly defined. She just has them nice and full and voluminous and in place. So I'm going to try and do that. I don't know how this is going to go. I'm just going to use that colour like on the inner kind of or like the first half of my eyebrow and then going with that slightly darker color on the rest of the brow so my main goal right now is just kind of volumizing I'm not really worried about having a perfect shape but of course like you know if you're doing this look yourself you can always just do perfect I'm just trying to I don't know I'm feeling inspired you know <laughs> she has quite a good arch to her brow too so if you want to go ahead and do a bit of an arch that's up to you as well so I'm using the darker colour around here. Same thing on the side, just kind of like drawing in a nice arch there. And using the little clear brow mascara just to keep those brows in place. And it also kind of gets rid of any excess product um, that you might have put on your eyebrows as well. So that's how the brows look, nice and effortless. Now this is possibly my favourite new release here in New Zealand. And I think it's new in the UK as well if you live over there. Because I know I've got lots of you guys that watch me from the UK. Hey. <laughs> this is the Nude Bronze Palette. This is beautiful. The colours look like this. They're just really beautiful, shimmery, bronze and golden tones. So I'm going to use this kind of like warm bronze colour. Ooh, that one there. And I'm also going to actually mix it with a little bit of this colour here. Because this is going to be my crease colour. And I'm just popping that right in the crease. I'm also actually going to take a little bit of that middle colour. Just because these are matte, so they're really good as eyeshadows as well multi-purpose and I'm just popping that in the crease as well to create even more depth and I'm not putting any eyeshadows underneath my eye she has quite a like clean under eye look she just puts on a little bit of mascara next up I'm just going to take this really pretty gold color here on my finger you can see the pigmentation is really nice as well and then I'm just going to pat that hopefully you can see my camera is like focusing on a ghost in the background or something right now I'm just patting that on at the actual eyelid and I'm just doing a couple coats just to make it super, super, super metallic looking. And then I am taking that highlight colour, this one right here, and I'm going to put this on my brow bone and inner corner. Super pigmented, so don't put on too much. And then she has a very bright inner corner, so I am just packing that on. Then in my tight line, I'm going to use an eyeliner. These are new to New Zealand as well. These are the Collection Eye Definer Lasting Color, just like pencil eyeliners, and they come in black and brown. So I'm going to use just the black, and I'm going to put this in my tight line, as I said. So they're like a little self-sharpened one. And this is just going to make sure our lashes look nice and thick. It just kind of like darkens up the base of your eyelashes. Because she always has really beautiful lashes. Like, she doesn't always wear the winged eyeliner, but her lashes always look really thick and long and beautiful. But today, in this look here that I'm copying, she does have a little winged eyeliner. So to create her winged eyeliner, I'm going to use a liquid. This is new in New Zealand as well. It's the Collection Eye Definition Liquid Eyeliner. And then the brush, oop, looks like this. It's just like a really small kind of brush applicator, which I prefer. So her eyeliner kind of starts off quite thin and then it wings out and gets a little bit thicker at the ends. So 
so that looks pretty good. So it's thin, a little bit thicker, and then a nice kind of thin wing as well. Now I've got to match the other side, which is the hard part. Okay, that'll do. <laughs> For my mascara, I'm going to use the Collection Longer Lash Lengthening Mascara. This is new in New Zealand. It comes in black and ultra black, which this one is ultra black. The reason I'm holding up this one is because I wanted to say this one is usually like my ultimate favorite. I love this mascara. It's probably one of my like top mascaras of all time. This is amazing. This is the first time I'm trying this new one out and I just thought it would be good for this look because she always has really nice long lashes. So this is supposed to do that for me. So this is what the brush looks like. It's quite a nice brush, not too big and puffy. And then I'm just going to pop that on. No word of a lie. This actually looks really good. I don't know if you can see. This is like one coat and my eyelashes just look really nice and fluttery and long. It's kind of hard to see when I've got eyeliner on, but hopefully. Crap, I accidentally got some of my eyelid. If that happens, you know the drill. Ignore it, don't touch it, just leave it to dry. Because if you try to wipe it while it's wet, you're just going to smear it. However, if you wait until it's completely dry, it'll just like come straight off. So I'll show you how to do that in one moment. I swear I can't do my makeup without smudging my eyeliner somewhere. It's always like on my eyebrow or like on my eyelid or like on my nose, like right there. Because I just go smack when I'm trying to like go like this. And I'm like, and then as I said, we're going to put some on the bottom lashes too. I'm going to do a couple coats just so my lashes look nice and thick. She actually looks like she's kind of wearing some little fluttery lashes, so I'm just gonna put on some falsies as well. And now this little smudge should be dry, so I like to just kind of flick at it, I guess. And it should come straight off. I'm just gonna use some random lashes that I have lying around. These ones have already been used before. All right, so that is the eyes finished. I love this look, it's just so brightening and it just makes you look so nice and wide awake and this shimmer really does like just emphasize that look you know like really youthful and glowing i don't have the perfect color like that she's wearing in this exact photo but i have noticed a kind of theme of like the kind of colors she likes to wear she loves her nudes she loves her kind of like berry pinks she kind of wears a mixture of like matte and cream collection has a new range of lipsticks these are called the lasting color there is 11 shades of these and four matte shades as well which is cool so i am going to use one of these i don't know which one this one here is quite a good Gigi hadid color this is called number 15 tafeta bloom and as you can see it's that really nice kind of berry pink color. This is a matte shade. This is actually kind of similar to what she is wearing. Huh, bonus. This matte lip actually really balances out the look too because we've got the shimmer on the eyes and on the cheeks. So the matte lip kind of just pulls everything together and tones it down a little bit. So again, that's number 15. I actually really like it. It looks really good. She has a little bit of a lip gloss on, but I'm just going to leave it matte because as I said, I like the balance. But of course, you can always put on some lip gloss if you like. It's totally up to you. This look is just inspired. It's not meant to be like... Hey, look at me. I just transformed myself into Gigi. Hello, I don't look like her. <laughs> this is a really gorgeous makeup look that anybody could wear. And no matter what skin tone you have, you could definitely pull up this similar kind of look. Of course, if you do have a deeper skin tone to me, you might want to just make sure you darken up the eyeshadow colors a little bit. You could also wear this look with any look color. You don't have to just use like a pinky color. But I really like how this turned out. It's such a good summery makeup look. Oh, where did that glitter come from? Honestly, like... I used glitter the other day in a tutorial and now I just keep finding glitter everywhere and I'm like <laughs> So hopefully I did Gigi some justice. She is just so beautiful and her makeup always looks so effortless and beautiful. And those of you who have been following me on Twitter, I am still going to be doing a Zendaya makeup look. I just haven't decided which one I want to do yet. That'll be coming at some stage. I also want to do an updated like Kylie Jenner makeup tutorial. I also want to do another Cara Delevingne tutorial so... Keep an eye out. I really have a lot of celebrity makeup looks I want to continue to do. Yeah, I'm going to stop blabbing now. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll put more information down in the down bar. I will list everything I used. Leave your requests in the comments down below and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hi everyone. So today I'm doing it to check it with me, which I'm really excited about. I want to do something a little bit fun because a lot of my videos lately have been simple or neutral or a mixture of the two. So I wanted to do something a little bit more fun for my bold followers out there. I already have my base done because I'm doing a first